Now I got the solar panel solidly mounted to the roof of the playhouse, but uh, you know, I went to kind of grab and shake the whole thing and I found the whole playhouse is nice and stable the one direction because of the cross bracing. And the funny thing is it doesn't have any cross bracing going this other direction. So I thought I'd add some. I looked at this and this just looks like uh, some pipe that's been flattened at both ends and uh, bolted to the frame. And I thought, uh, you know, conduit, is pretty cheap, pretty easy to work with. So there's some three quarter inch electrical conduit, nothing real fancy. It's about three bucks for 10 feet of it. Uh, so what I've done is I've measured how far I wanna put this angled piece over here. And that came out to about 44 inches, which is a lot longer than this, but I figure I get more leverage that way. And then the other thing is a tubing cutter, uh, like what you'd use for cutting uh, copper tubing for home plumbing. Uh, actually works really well on conduit. You get a nice clean cut. You don't have to break out the power tools or anything like that. So I'm going to cut this piece of conduit to 44 inches and then I'm going to flatten the ends, drill holes through it, and attach it to the frame over here. Nice clean cut. So now here I just need to mark uh, what parts can be flattened because this is going to go right here. So it's going to be flat against this post. So I'm going to mark that and up here, mark that and then uh, start whacking that with a hammer. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just uh, mark where I need to drill the hole. So I'm going to mark one on the outside on the bottom, and then the uh, this goes on the inside. Just put them where I want them, and then mark it. And of course mark the bottom too. And then on the bottom I'm going to pre-drill for a leg bolt, and on the top I'm going to drill for a carriage bolt. Okay, so here's the new cross bracing with a carriage bolt up here, which is nice because, you know, little kids' hands are here coming up the ladder and nothing pokes out. Um, and then it goes down to the corner where it's a lag bolt. And I'm not actually tightening those too tight right now because I'm still going to pull that off. And what I'm going to do is paint it. So here's another piece I already made. And I hung it up and I spray painted it with some uh, Rust-Oleum uh, green hammer finish. It's not quite the exact same color as everything else, but it should match pretty good. Well, that's about it for the cross bracing. As soon as uh, these two pieces are done drying, I can uh, mount them up. Uh, so after that, it's on to working on the electrical wiring and conduit for the solar panel. And uh, here's the conduit uh, properly installed after getting painted. Uh, I think it looks nice. It's uh, not the exact same shade as uh, the, the other green parts, but uh, it's real solid. You know, it looks good. Uh, you can't even tell that I started off with, uh, you know, just some uh, metal conduit. Three quarter inch metal conduit looks really good. I like the way the carriage bolts work so that, uh, you know, there's really nothing exposed there. You know, of course, after doing this now, I realized I could have made the end come all the way over here, which would give even a little bit better diagonal strength. But oh well, I still need to do this on the far end down there. So I think down there I might uh, run this all the way over to the middle, the middle of the climbing wall over there.
And of course, here's the other side. Same thing. I think it turned out uh, pretty nice. Not bad for uh, just a hammer and a drill.